the revitalized plantation economy grew beyond the confines of its predecessor, coffee. Tea estates flourished and new areas and forests were cleared to make way for the new thing. There was money to be made and lots of it. There was need for speed and new inventions were wrought to keep up with the demand for tea. There were machines that were built by British engineers using their famed ingenuity. These would crush and bully the tea leaf and release from its silken cells the enzymes that would flourish and mature in the oxidation process. Daring new devices were built that would fan hot air to wither and steam boilers were set up to fire and blacken the tea. And packaging was developed where the made tea would be sealed for at least a time until it reached the famed tea auction at Mincing Lane in London. Sleek ocean-going vessels were built that would come quickly across and as speedily turn around with their cargo. Salon tea was at the hub of the motive force of change in all of this.